I have created my Canvas course with modules that are based on the proficiency levels of the actual proficiency pathway. For example, I have a novice, and then I put different activities into each of these modules. I can give a specific activity or assignment in class to students to do, and at the end of each activity, there's some kind of language production event, or I can have them do it at home. I can give them a very specific one that I want them to do, or I can say, choose the one that you're interested in. Um, and if they want to push themselves a little bit further and do something in a higher level, then great. If they feel like they need to go back and review something and check out something in a lower level, great. My goal is to have so many different things in each of the levels that there is always a, a large variety and I can give specific assignments or I can also allow them to explore on their own. I put all of my classes into exactly the same Canvas course so that they all have the same opportunity to review or explore. I don't want what I tell them or what I say to them to become the ceiling of what they accomplish. If they want to do something more, it's available to them. And if they want to go forward or sideways or backwards, they can make the choices that are appropriate to them. And then of course I can make teacher choices and tell them to do specific things in class or outside of class, or I can put them in specific groups to differentiate and have each group do something different or the same. Like I said, at the end of each activity, there is a language creation opportunity, whether it's making a video or making a voice recording or typing something up or doing a collaborative activity with another student that they record or make a video of. Really, as long as they're creating with language, there are as many possibilities as there are ways to organize creating language. I want to focus on this in, in this way too, this personalization, because learning a language is not linear. People do not learn this and then this and then this and then this and then one day say, ta-da, I speak German. And students don't all progress at the same rate. There's nothing that I could do that would cause all of my students to learn the same thing at the same time from the same activity and progress at the same rate day after day after day after day. And trying to force my class into that way of thinking is only frustrating for me and the students. Once they've made a choice, they also have the opportunity to spend as long as they would like to on it. They can watch the video that I made over and over and over and over again. They can read the model that I have given them in text over and over and over again. There are lots of different ways that I can give them comprehensible input, even through a Canvas activity. I also want them to be able to have more chances to explore, so I put a bunch of children's books in Canvas, and I put a bunch of videos in Canvas. I think of those modules sort of like a university where the professor says, I want you to go get this article from the, the library and make a copy of it and use it for yourself. Because it's only available to our class, I do bring in a lot of authentic materials that I give them access to as if it were a reading library at, at a university.